All right, I've uh, I've been working with this old bot for a while now. Uh, the original extruder, which was a QUBD extruder, I had a few problems with PLA. If it wasn't a low temp, and when I say low temp, all PLA is supposedly 185 for the melting point for extrusion. But I found some PLAs extrude better at like 210, 230. The QUBD extruder had some design flaws in it. Most of them were fixable with a, uh, a couple of mods, one to the barrel, drilling it out and putting PTFE tubing inside of it. Um, the other mod, really, and I, you know, the, the guy that designed this kind of figured it out. They used a stainless steel plate to mount the extruder to this plate. Well, that stainless steel was holding the heat in, causing the barrel to heat up, which causes the filament to expand in the barrel, which causes the jam. Anyway, while fighting with all this, looking around, I started looking at other hot ends and extruder systems. Uh, the J-head seemed to be the common extruder that people use. And I started looking at a mounting system, which I've already did one little video on it. This was the mount I did, which... Here's one right here. I've, you know, I was actually setting one up for three millimeter and one up for 1.75 millimeter because you have to drill this hole out bigger for the three millimeter. And with the 1.75, you have to have PTFE tubing in the center of the core. Uh, and if you have a three millimeter hole, it will actually push that, the back pressure will push that PTFE back up out of the extruder so what I've done is I've tried a few of them uh, the original J head um, hotends.com which is this one here this is the actual the the V dash B the newest version with the five cooling fins cut in this is apparently the guy that originally designed the J head that is him this is a really nice design the tube of this is made out of peak material, which is fine. Uh, you keep a fan on it, which as you can see, this one has a fan right on the front. Everything is good. Uh, you, you're limited to about 260 degrees on it because at that point, PTFE melts and that peak starts to get soft. This is a ceramic hot end. They're about $50 from 2engineers.com. I've already done a review on it. You can see the PTFE tubing sticking right out of the top of that. Um, this is 1.75 millimeter with that tubing in. Uh, you can pull the tubing out. It's a three millimeter. The ceramic cools better. Of course, you can't harm that with 300 C temps because it's ceramic. So, you know, that's a good design. The design I've truly fell in love with, it's called a metal magma. You really can't see it in there, but it's an all metal extruder. Now when I say all metal, it's all metal in three millimeter format. There is a all metal 1.75 millimeter format. Uh, if you do a search for the Jolly Grim Reaper, he was the guy that originally designed it. And uh, you'll find you'll find it that way. You can actually message him, he sells them. But what I've done is I have another I have another one of these. I'm going to do dual extruders. And what I've done, as you can see, I'm, I got the wires all out right now. I got quick disconnects on the fan, on the thermistor, and on the J head there, um, so I can swap them out at any time. I have one of these for 1.75, and I have one for three millimeter. Of course, the one for three millimeter has no PTFE tubing in it. And this is a direct drive extruder system. You can see I got a MK7 gear, a 608 bearing. This system, even on three millimeter, works fine. I have no back pressure issues. I've printed with uh, 0 0.35, 0 0.4, and 0.5 nozzles with no problem. Right now I'm using 1.75 uh, PLA filament because I have a bunch of it. When I initially started with the QUBD, it was 1.75, and I ended up with five or six rows of it. I do have a row, a few rows of three millimeter, and I have been printing in it. It prints perfect. So, what I've done, 
I drilled the hole in this for three millimeter. I have one of these in three millimeter format, all metal, so I can print anything I want. I can go away up to like four or five hundred C. It'll it won't hurt because it's all metal. The fan cools the top part of it, which keeps it down to under 200 C, usually around 120, 150 C. The hot end itself will get up to the full temp. I can extrude anything through that three millimeter all metal end, including uh, polycarbonate, which is what they make bulletproof glass out of, which is something I'm gonna play with here soon. I need, I need something with tensile strength, and that seems to be the way to go, so I will be playing with that soon. Then all I do is take off the quick disconnects, take these two bolts out. Once I pull the filament out, I can pull that head out with the wires on it and the thermistor on it. I slide the other one in, and when I slide it in, what I do, because the hole is too big, I actually made this. And I put it on top, there's a little gap in the top of this where that head slides in. And I slide this in over top of it, and then the fill the 1.75 filament goes through that. That keeps that PTFE tubing from pushing back out and coming through that hole right there where the filament goes in. Because if you don't do that, it will come out. I did test it, it does. But now I can go from 1.75 to 3 millimeter filament in about a five minute swap or less. You know, your first time it'll probably take you five minutes. I do it in about two or three minutes now with no problems and I can use any kind of filament I want. I have actually done 1.75 millimeter through the three millimeter without the PTFE tubing and it does work. That is a battering out of PLA. And I mean, you can see that was at a 250% print speed. I sped it up quite a bit. It's a low res. This is actually 10 times the size of the STL file I downloaded. For some reason, whoever uploaded this uploaded a file that it was about the size of that center circle. So I just blowed it up. It's smooth. And that was another thing with the QUBD. I could not get a PLA print really smooth. This all metal head with the temperature variations I can do. I print all my stuff, PLA, uh, ABS. I print it all at about 230 degrees and I have no problems at all. I mean, I don't have a string. You can see there's no string. There's no webbing. There's no nothing. It's just, it's perfect. Um, Trinity Labs is where you'll find the Metal Magma or do a Google search for Metal Magma or the Jolly Grim Reaper who was the original designer. Trinity Labs actually co opted the design of this new head with him. So... I hadn't done one on it, thought I'd give y'all an update on it. I did print all these because I'm going dual extruder. I'm gonna take both heads, put them together and make a dual extruder robot. I was gonna set them side by side. When you do that, you lose print space across the bed because both of them cannot travel to the end. The end stop's gonna stop. So the one on the inside will never get out here. I checked it out, you lose about an inch and a half of print space is the best I could get it. So what I've decided to do, instead of doing it side by side, I'm going to stagger them outward, make a new mount, and set the J-heads one in front of the other. And if I have to, I'll put the dry, I'll put the extruders and mount them up on the deck or something up here, and then have them feed down via tube like some of the other ones do. But then that'll cause me to lose about an inch in my Y-axis back and forth here which I can make that up real easy. All I have to do is take this T-slot rail, uh, get one, make it about three and a half, four inches longer with a new belt, and then recalibrate my axis, and I'll have my full range, my full print area. Or I may make it a foot longer and make my, make my, my length, I may double my length up. I haven't decided yet. I've actually thought about taking this and doubling it both ways, making it either, you know, this is a, this is an 8x8 bed. I've thought about going 12x12 12 12 or maybe even 16x16. 16 16. I found a 16x16 16 16 heater, so I may even go that route. But I thank you for watching. 
if you've been looking for alternative ways to set up your Orgbot, I honestly prefer this over the QUBD right now because of all the issues they've had. 90% of those issues can be overcome if you know what you're doing. Tweaking the software, uh, changing out, upgrading some of the parts. You know, you, you have to know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, this is going to be a lot simpler for you. It's not going to require so much fine-tuning and tweaking. So, thank you. Have a nice day.